Hello everybody, I hope you're doing well. My name is Nathan. Welcome to another modern video. Today I'm going to be doing a deck tech, a, kind of like a mini deck tech, um, on something I've been working on. Now, I wasn't planning on releasing it just yet. I was going to hold this and let it kind of be my first videos for the Spike Feed. Um, by the way, if you don't listen to the Spike Feed podcast, I highly recommend it. You can find it over at spikefeed.com and please uh, subscribe to their YouTube channel. It's just launched. They're going to be doing some legacy content. I'm going to be doing some modern content, and I'm really looking forward to it. Um, so, like I said, I was going to do this as sort of my first videos for them, um, but somebody recently posted a video series that is like 95% similar to this to the deck I'm going to show you. Now, I arrived at my build kind of completely independent. Uh, of that person but because it's you know people are gonna have already seen that it's not gonna be as new and fresh of an idea so I'm just gonna go ahead and put this out there for you guys uh, to sort of get your feedback and let you look forward to the upcoming videos so let's talk about it um, essentially it, it it is a just just Kai sort of aggro control deck which as you guys know that's my favorite type of deck to play um, and the way that this got started actually was I wanted to play I wanted to be able to play a Jeskai deck It was actually just gonna be a Jess. It was basically gonna be a Jess a low to the ground Jeskai deck there were Some spells that I really wanted to play and those spells kind of ended up driving me towards moving away from Geist um, But let me explain so Two of the spells that I really... Actually, there was three spells that I wanted to try, and one of them I've already dropped. And they were Gitaxian Probe, Spell Pierce, and Vapor Snag. Um, and actually, I guess you could kind of count Grim Lava Mancer, too. I always thought that Grim really fit the Geist plan because he was just sort of a reusable removal spell. Um, he was a burn spell. He could help make way for Geist. Um, and if I was going to run things like Probes and more fit Serum Visions, he seemed like a good card to to play um and so my reason for probe is i feel like when you're playing geist there's a lot of decks where you're really trying to decide what is the correct game plan here especially against combo decks um you're really trying to decide you know do i want to play geist into a potential liliana getaxian probe gives you that information against storm you know maybe you're looking at a wear tear in your hand and you're really trying to decide do i jam geist or do I hold up like dispel and wear tear, uh, you know, to get rid of their uh, to get rid of their potential pyromancers ascension? And I just feel like playing Gitaxian probes in a deck that can be both proactive or reactive is probably one of the best things that you can do because it gives you perfect information on how to navigate the match. It lets you know: Do I jam Geist or don't I? Do I send the burn upstairs or don't I? And so I, I really wanted to play it. Also, spell pierce. You know, if I was going to be a lower to the ground deck. I wasn't going to be able to play Celestial Colonnade. I'm going to run less lands, be able to run more spells, but you know, getting six mana in play for Colonnade is not really what the deck's going to be about anymore. And so I wanted to run Spell Pierce because I wanted the ability to Spell Pierce things like Turn 1 Expedition Map or Turn 1 Aether Vial. Um, you know, I wanted the ability to have one blue up and let somebody think that they can, say, tap out for Liliana and then get him with Spell Pierce. Um, and so that's sort of the... Oh, I also mentioned Vapor Snag. Uh, the problem with Vapor Snag, in short, was... I, I thought it was going to be great with Geist, you know, Vapor Snagging, creature out of the way. Uh, like, if you play Geist and you have three mana, you can Vapor Snag a creature and hold up Reman and really start playing this tempo game. You know, you're putting it back in their hand, but then they try to play it and you remand it. And I thought that seemed really great. Uh, but I played a couple of games against uh, Affinity, actually, and it was awful <laughs> against that deck. And... Being that, you know, Affinity is like the most played deck right now in the modern meta, I thought, okay, I just can't play this spell. It's going to be great against maybe Tarmogoyce and Siege Rhinos, but really bad against those decks. Maybe it still has a place in the sideboard because I do think it would be great against certain certain match certain matchups. Uh, but I went ahead and just cut it completely. Um, I, I do still think, obviously, it synergizes really well with Geist. But um, what ended up happening in, in the games where I was playing is... Um, essentially, I, I felt like not having Restoration Angel made Geist worse. 
because being able to send Geist in, blink him, still get into four, still get in for four, and then develop your board and represent blockers, and the ability to then swing the next turn for a guaranteed seven in the air, was something that I really liked doing on curve, and and something that I just wasn't able to do anymore. Now, now that doesn't mean that Geist couldn't find a home in this deck, in the sideboard, but essentially what happened is as the deck got lower to the ground and I was like, okay, I'm going to run all these taxing probes and I'm going to run all the, all the serum visions. I realized that I was probably just making a deck building mistake by not running young pyromancer. Um, obviously there's just so much synergy here and pyromancer is an awesome card. Um, the deck really just became m more about, you know, taking advantage of this synergy and less and, and being able to go wide and less about, trying to punch guys through uh and restoration angel is part of how you punch guys through um so when i when i realized that i should probably be playing young pyromancer i realized that if i was going to run a three drop it should probably just be a three drop that is on the same game plan and so really if you're thinking okay well now i'm running young pyro and i have all these probes and everything then why would you run geist when you could just run monastery mentor which is on the exact same plane as the rest of the deck, basically. Um, some other cards that I got really curious about trying when I was uh, when I realized I was going to be running a Pyro and Monastery Mentor were Jeskai Charm and, to a lesser extent, Secure the Waste. Now, Secure the Waste name may not make the cut, but this seems like it could be really good as a one-off. Um, being able to... Okay, so so if you're on defense, let's say you have a couple of tokens out there, they attack in, they think, okay, we've got a bunch of 1-1s. One -ones. Well, now your 1-1s one are 2-2s. Two but because you, when you cast this, plus 1, plus 1, and lifelink, um, then this triggers. So the token is actually developed before this spell resolve, so that token gets buffed as well. And it actually makes these 3-3s, three which is just insane. And so there's going to be times, I think, where you're going to be able to attack and either kill them or get them way dead or very close to dead and create a huge tempo swing with the life gain effect um especially with this and like i said on defense you're also going to be able to make some potentially very profitable blocks that they did not expect you to be able to make because they thought you were only going to have one ones so i really want to give just kai try a try uh, the other card that i was interested in trying was secure the waste because you're at times going to sort of be playing this reactive game plan and maybe sitting on some mana um Secure the Way seems like a really cool way to to put a threat into play at instant speed. Um, and it's also a threat that some decks will have trouble dealing with because the one-for-one -one move that's very common in modern matches up poorly against it. And having one of these in play is sort of like, not exactly fast mana, but it's sort of like you're casting this for one mana more. It's like you're getting a free mana. Because let's say you cast this just with three mana. Well, instead of it only making two tokens, now it makes three tokens. So... I think that I'm willing to give that a try as well. Now my list is extremely similar to BBDs and I think that's just kind of, you know, a function of, it, it's not that hard to come to come to these numbers in the deck. Uh, my list is obviously different. I want to try this, I want to try this, these may be too cute. Um, he's on four remands, I still want to run two mana leaks because um, <clears throat> I just want to have a hard counter sometimes. Um, I did put another grim lava mancer in here initially i'd only had one but he ran two and it looked pretty good and uh you know i think bbd is a much better deck builder and just magic magician in general than i am so um gonna you know i'm gonna i'm gonna glean some some things from his list um but i do think it's awesome that we sort of came to this independently not it's not like it wasn't sort of out there you know um um well-known Jeskai player, uh, Sean McLaren, uh, I believe at a Pro Tour, or some, maybe it was Champion Worlds or something like that, he played a, um, like a blue-red Pyromancer deck, and I thought it looked kind of cool, but I, and I, I like Jeskai, I wanted to be able to have Path, um, for sideboard options as well, um, and like I said, you know, I always thought I would have Geist in the list, but I, I like I said earlier, I can't run Geist in this list because it's just gotten kind of too far too far towards synergizing with these cards um but anyway yeah so i hope you guys are gonna are looking forward to the games i'm looking forward to the games i'm gonna go ahead and finish up 
my video series on Jessica Midrange, but this will go ahead and be my next one. So look forward to that. Uh, subscribe to my channel, please. Um, I would greatly appreciate it. Like the videos, and I'm going to try to keep putting out daily content. Uh, looking forward to, to playing some games with this deck, so, so stay tuned, guys, and I will talk to you soon.